Hi. Uh, I was looking for Bobby. She's not up yet. Hey, um, see this, uh, how, how's this look? Is it cockeyed or anything? Uh, well, yeah, it is a little bit. Oh, okay, because, you know, I'm a little, uh, it's a, it's a big day for me. Well, nervous is good. Is it? Sure. By the way, I think your bride is absolutely lovely. Yeah, yeah, she, she is. So, uh, this is fine, huh? Yeah, yeah, you look just great. Well, thank you. I, uh, you know, I, um, uh, I feel very, um, uh, you know, like, um, a deja vu. And yeah, strange, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But you look the same. It's like I could just reach back and I could just grab yesterday. Except that yesterday was a long time ago. Scotty, have you been all right? Yeah. I've been great. I mean, if you don't count the last, um, you know, 10, 11 years, we should, we should talk about it. I think we should talk every 10 years. Uh, you know, when you left me for your current husband, I was very upset. I was very angry, and I, I, I went around in circles, you know, and I went from one relationship to another, and I... I thought that I would never find someone, someone like you, again. But, you know, I did. About a year ago, I, I found this great girl. And she, she taught me a lot about people and about everything. And, and she made me realize that I was responsible just for my life. Scotty, um, I never really got the chance to tell you that I was sorry. Well, you don't have to. Yes, I do. I know that you loved me and that I hurt you very deeply. And because I wasn't being honest with you, but I couldn't be honest with myself at that time. But I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, we were young and stupid. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, I didn't know what you wanted. And even if I, I did, I probably couldn't have given it to you anyways. <laughs> but, you know, look at us now. I mean, things have turned out. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. Good. So, what about you? I mean, how are you doing now? Life with Luke, it, um, let me see, must be interesting. It's been great. Do you have any regrets? No. Not one. Good. Good, I'm happy. I'm happy then. Uh, that's great. Everything's okay. And here we are. Just, you know, we're friends. We're talking and everything's okay with us, huh? Yeah, do you think it would be possible for us to have some peace between us now? Well, um, you gonna stick around town? <sighs> I hope so. Well, then I think it's very possible that we can, uh, you know, work on it. Scotty, yeah. I wish you all the best. Thank you. <laughs> come on, Robin, Joker's coming. Lucas, come on. Honey, what are you doing? I want to eat my cereal. 
under the table. No, honey, you may not under any circumstances eat your cereal under the table. Why not? Because you're not an animal. Lucky's eating under the table. Well, Lucky isn't an animal either. Lucky, come out from under the table, please. No. I mean, I can't. It's daylight. This is a bat cave. Honey, it's not a bat cave. It's a table. All right, come on out. We've got to get dressed. My mom lets me eat under here at home. What is it with you and your family and dining room tables? You got a thing for them? Honey, listen, this is not your mother's house. This is my house. And in my house, the rule is we do not eat under the table. Now, I have given you fair warning. I want you to come out now. I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. I'm coming in. Is there a problem here? Yeah. Uh, Lucky is under the table. Well, uh, is he hurting anyone? He's eating under the table, Laura. I have asked him very nicely to please come out, but he's refused. Bobby? Hi, Rob. If you have a problem with my son, could you come to me directly and I will deal with it? Well, you know, I would be very happy to do that. But at the crucial moment that he decided he was going to eat his cereal under the table, you didn't happen to be here. Now, I must say, he certainly has a strange sense of acceptable behavior. I can't imagine where he got it. What does that mean? In case you haven't noticed, there is another boy in this house who happens to be very impressionable. Oh, Bobby, stop it. Be honest, will you? I mean, this is about us, right? Well, yeah, I guess so. You and I obviously have very different ideas about what it takes to raise a child. Yes, we do. And this is just another... Excuse to criticize me. I'll get off it, Laura. Come on. You mean paranoid. Paranoid? I'm pa fine. Okay. I'm paranoid. Have whatever opinion you want of me, but please don't take it out on my child. I wasn't taking it out on anybody. If you could see your way clear to take a little bit of responsibility for your Barbara, son. Barbara, Barbara. You're way out of line there. And you. Neutral corner. Come on, breathe. Yeah. I asked your son to eat his breakfast at the table rather than under it, and Laura thinks I'm attacking her. I didn't say that you were attacking me. You most certainly did. I asked you not to take out your anger on a child. I wasn't even angry until you started telling me how to run my own household. Don't tell what? us how to raise our son. You know this is not about me telling you how to run your household, Bobby. Yes, it is. <sighs> this is about a whole way of looking at life. You know, you two have been living life out of a comic book. And you come breezing in here, and our boring domesticity isn't interesting enough for you. Well, let me tell you something. Some of us have grown up, and some of us haven't. And some of us could use the guidance of those who have. Don't you ever talk to me about guidance. You back way off, Barbara. Not when it comes to my kids, I won't. What about our kids? In case you haven't noticed, Laura, it's a little difficult to separate the two at the moment. Bobby, it shouldn't be. I know that, that it has been tense around here. This is a very unusual situation. You can say that again. And I know that we haven't always seen eye to eye, but, you know, we are a family. Forget it, honey. We're out of here. Luke, come on. I don't want you to leave. Sure you do. No, I don't want you to go back to that freezing cold house. Just... Let's calm down, okay? We have a wedding to go. Lucas, come out from under the table, please. Come on, let's go upstairs. Go upstairs. I'm not mad at you, honey. I'm just very upset. Let's go upstairs. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't you apologize. You were right. Well, thanks for backing me up. Sure. I just want to calm down and get myself to this wedding. Right. And I have a meeting. Step one in handling Frank Smith. Oh, right. Where's the gun? Can I go? No. no. You are going with me to the wedding. Oh, oh, honey, don't put him through that. Here, go to the movies. No, no, Luke, no. You're not going to the movies. I don't want him to go to the movies by himself in this town until we know that we're absolutely safe here, and we don't know that yet. Your friend Sly will probably be at the wedding. There'll be cake afterwards. Cake? Sounds great, huh? Fine. All right. All right, cowboy. Let's go. Don't get spider. 